is up everyone welcome back to the crypto blitz your home for your crypto fix i'm your host ripple van winkle or yeah that's the right saying i lost my train of thought welcome to the show we got another amazing episode lined up for you we got a lot to go over a lot to talk about we need to talk about the gold and it's all time high what's going on out there we need to talk about the bitcoin gap that looks like it's not gonna get closed we got more information on zodia because not only are they intertwined with ripple we're talking xrp and xlm vitalik buterin an 18 percent chance that he's facing jail time according to charles hoskins and then we're gonna finish this video off with the xrp price without further ado i don't want to waste any time let's jump into this thing bitcoin it's up 5.78 percent coming in at 41,826 dollars is about to breach that 42 thousand dollar range which we've been speaking of for quite some time ethereum it's up 3.66 percent coming in at 22,304 uh, 22,041 dollars as the jumps right in front of our very eyes usdt and usdc both coming in at their dollar pegs as xrp is a mean lean 62 cents it was preaching or it was about to breach that 66 cent level earlier this morning did not know where what happened a big old red candle knocked it back down to support around that 60 cent region let's hope we get a nice rebound here and we can continue on pushing up remember the higher the price that xrp goes now before bitcoin goes into a full bull run the higher the price our targets are going to be currently prices are set between three and 650 if we can get xrp above a dollar before bitcoin goes absolutely parabolic and breaks its all-time high and the total cryptocurrency market cap gets above two trillion dollars we could be looking at a double digit xrp now if you are not a part of the newsletter i suggest you sign up join it it's free ripplevanwinkle.com very very simple click on free crypto news advice it brings you to the bottom put in your email address that's how easy it is it is free i send out about one to two emails per month december's edition will be going out soon we cover anything from the latest crypto news to the ta to market conditions in this article it's short it's brief it's to the point and it makes it very very crystal clear so anyone can read these charts that i put out in there make sure you sign up now let's do a little throwback who remembers this a long time ago this tv was a big flex remember those days where if you had this tv in your house you were really flexing those muscles i do i remember trying to get rid of them i think that was the hardest part was ever just trying to get rid of these things they weighed a hundred freaking pounds you couldn't even move them gold guess what it reached a record high and predictions of bitcoin market cap takeover here's the brief gold prices hit a record high of two thousand one hundred and ten dollars per ounce boosted by geopolitical tensions and expected interest rate cuts bitcoin pioneer adam back predicts a market cap flip with bitcoin surpassing gold possibly within a year or two it states the greatest generational wealth transfer of 68 trillion could see more stocks bonds and pensions liquidated to buy bitcoin I like it. I'm with it. I think we are going to see a rotation out from the traditional markets into the crypto markets. I'm not saying it's going to be a ton of money, but we're probably looking at 5 to 10%. They're going to tell you you should put 5 to 10% of your money into crypto. When this happens, it would mean that the institutions have already entered. They have ways for you to buy a crypto that is going to be safe. I see this going down. When this does go down, forget it. The markets will go absolutely insane. And we spoke about this narrative before. If we do see a 5 to 10% flip or rotation from the traditional markets, from all these different pension plans out there, into the cryptocurrency markets, we're going to see crypto go crazy. I mean, we could be looking at a 10 to $20 trillion market cap on this thing. And that could be in the short term. We could be seeing as this bull cycle, folks. Pay attention. Credible Crypto put this out. As I previously said, I expected our Bitcoin gap at 20,000 to go unfilled, and it has. We just printed a second gap on the daily, and this one's sitting at 39,000 to 40,000. And he thinks this gap's going to go unfilled as well. He said new highs are coming sooner than you think. Here's this first gap. You can see I'm circling with my mouse. It didn't get filled. Remember, not all these gaps always have to get filled. We're seeing another gap right now forming. Question is, does this one get filled or do we blow past it and do we keep moving up? I think that Bitcoin isn't going to go back down to that $20,000 region. I think that that gap will remain unfilled, which does happen. 
Doesn't mean it needs to. And I think we keep pushing up. Remember, until we get above a $2 trillion market cap, I will not become fully bullish. I'm a perma bull right now. We're getting there, though. XRP drops. Put this out. I covered this in the first video today. Zodiac Custody, new information coming out. Where Zodia is now partnered in with Mateco, you know Ripple's involvement, Standard Charter, SBI, Stellar is now involved in this. This is a new payment distribution platform. Listen to this clip. This is quite fascinating. What this is to me is a way for these firms to get asset to hold your crypto in institutional grade custody. This is how we talk about bringing in the masses. Hi everyone, I'm Noel Atchison here on behalf of Coindesk Studios at the Stellar Meridian event in Madrid. And I am here with Tori Sample, Senior Product Manager at the Stellar Development Foundation, and Julian Sawyer, Chief Executive Officer of Zodia Custody. Tori and Julian, thank you so much for being here with us thank today. You. Thanks for having us. Now there's us. so much to talk about. I want to talk about the Stellar platform and some of the changes, but Julian, first for our viewers who aren't familiar, could you give us some background on Zodia Custody? It's already and its focus? Yes, of course. We were founded by Standard Chartered Bank and their ventures arm in 2000 uh, on the premise of segregation between exchange and custody. So we are a standalone custodian offering institutional grade custody services. Uh, we're based in the UK, um, though we have just opened in Singapore and we're also in uh, the EU as well. That's fascinating. What kind of uh, difference do you find between the different jurisdictions? I think the jurisdictions that we're in are those that have got a roadmap of crypto adoption. Um, and so we are very careful about where we go uh, and, and that market. But I think what we're seeing is in the more developed markets, a more alignment into how crypto custody is managed, consistency and alignment. And that's what we are hoping will, will continue within the marketplace. Ideal, it's really encouraging to hear for such a, a global concept. And you know, Tori, uh, could you talk a bit about Stellar products and how they relate to the ecosystem? So folks, this is very interesting what's going on in this announcement because we see Stellar is connected. We see that XRP is connected into this. We know about Mateco and Ripple Bart, the ownership of it or, or control of it. Now we see Zodia who's backed by SBI and Standard Charter connecting up to Mateco and what Ripple is doing. Ralph put this article out. Zodia Custody integrates on Mateco's network. I mean, Ripple is really lining up the dots here, right? They're, they're doing everything they can to push this industry forward to get the custody that we need behind trusted partners. This is going to be huge. These two coming together, and not only do we see XRP is going to be connected to this, we know XLM, we know Bitcoin, we know Ethereum. They are looking to become a one-stop shop. This is absolutely amazing. Mateco says we're announcing today the expansion of a long-standing strategic partnership with Zodia Custody, the leading digital asset custodian backed by Standard Charter, Northern Trust, and SBI. Part of our commitment to deliver Zodia's custody global ambitions, we provide network infrastructure that allows the multi-award winning custodians to sustain its innovative track record and successful serve institutional demand at a global scale. Spanning network use cases such as sub-custody, trading, and beyond, the Mateo Network for Institutional Digital Asset Flows is the benchmark for the future of digital assets. It will allow Zodia Custody to continue creating value, added services, and continuously expanding the options available to their clients, realizing its journey to becoming a truly comprehensive digital asset solution provider. As the industry undergoes a pivotal transformation, our network infrastructure is dedicated to standardize, govern, and connect institutional digital asset flows. So what are they doing? It's very simple. They are connecting the institutional digital asset flows. This is a step in the right direction. There's the article. Vitalik. Cardano founder now says that Vitalik Buterin has an 18% chance of a prison sentence. Interesting. Because if I believe, if I read everything right, Vitalik in the beginning said that Vitalik, or Charles in the beginning said Vitalik did nothing wrong. All of a sudden, you seen this guy completely flip after he called all of us loony bins and absolutely crazy. And he's saying that Vitalik has an 18% chance of going to jail. I would love to see how that plays out. Now, Igor Crypto says XRP is escaping the descent the channel. Possible head and shoulder update right here. What are we looking at? 
62 we need the breakout we had the breakout we were approaching that red line this morning of 66 cents what happened when we touched it Vroom! all the way back down to that 60 cent region folks which falls right into that right shoulder now what are we seeing a little bit of a push up we're getting about 62 and a half 63 cents but we are at 0.624 this green line is sitting at 0.628. We are trying to break out of that right shoulder again. We are trying to find support and to break above that 66 cent region. We talked about 66 cents on this channel for so many weeks. It is a very critical number to get above. We touched it this morning. We dropped back down into this right shoulder. We need to see another breakout. We are flirting with it again. We need to see a bullish push above 66 cents so we can target this next green line of 73 cents, which is then going to push XRP up into that 92 cent region when then we can finally start talking about a dollar xrp again that's what i'm waiting for that's what you should be waiting for i'm gonna leave it like that listen wash your damn hands be nice and be kind to of each other ripple van winkle is out